The Fort George Reservoir is one of many which makes up the Barbados Water Authority's distribution network, pumping gallons of water into your homes. In recent time, many of these reservoirs have been under strain and we've seen very low levels at some of them. To tell us a bit about what has been happening is Yvette Harris Griffith. She is in charge of marketing at the Barbados Water Authority. Yvette, uh, it's a serious time, especially when you consider uh, the amount of rainfall that we've had uh, over the last few weeks, a lot less, and we're moving into a drier season now. Tell us how that has been affecting uh, these reservoirs across Barbados? Well, Shane, over the past few years, we've actually had reduced rainfall. Mm -hmm. And in general, there is a dry season and a wet season. So there is a period of time in the year when it will be drier than others. And we are in that, at that stage now. We are at the time of year when, if you look at the grass, you will see that it's actually drier in Barbados. What has started to happen though is that, of course, the water that Barbados Water Authority distributes to its customers comes from rainfall. So once there is reduced rainfall for a prolonged period, then we will start to see the effect in terms of low levels at our reservoirs. And to today, again, as has been happening recently, some of our reservoirs are, have been impacted by low levels. And those reservoirs include Apes Hill, Boscobel, Castle Grant, Golden Ridge, Half Acres, Lambert's Lodge Hill, and Chop Hill. Mm. What this means is that once the levels drop too low, the authority is forced to reduce pumping, or in some instances, actually stop pumping from the location until the levels recover. This then, has a trickle-down effect on our customers who may then have low pressure or outages. And those customers are in some districts in several parishes, St. Michael, St. James, St. Thomas, St. Joseph, St. John, St. Andrew, in some instances, St. Lucy and St. Peter. Oh. It is always the persons at the higher elevations that suffer first. And so once it gets drier and we have challenges, maintaining adequate reservoir levels is difficult for us to maintain a continuous 24 hour supply to some districts. However, there are things that our customers can do to assist themselves while the authority itself tries to do its best in keeping that water supply as consistent as possible. What the authority will do once we cannot provide the water through the taps, as people would recognize, is we would send water via tanker to the areas or in some instances we have actually installed community tanks within the neighborhoods. And that is a temporary measure, of course. Ideally, we would love to simply keep the supply going through the taps. But once the levels are too low to pump, we cannot in some instances. What we would advise is when you do have water, catch some so that it can assist you in the instances where the pressure is too low or you may not have any at all. That certainly helps. And because it is a drier period of, t of year, it does not mean that the rain will not fall. For example, last night and early this morning, the rain did fall and it's threatening as we stand here chatting. However, when there is rainfall, you can catch that rainwater, use it for secondary purposes. And those can include the washing of the driveways, the washing of vehicles, the watering of plants, even the flushing of your toilets if you need to. Mm -hmm. And the Barbados Water Authority has also been putting notices on Facebook about outages in recent time. Uh, keeping you informed about where they are and how long it would take to fix them. Yes, Shane, we will continue to inform our customers via Facebook. And customers with a problem, please feel free. Give us a call, 434-4292, or drop a line to our email, customercare at bwa.gov.bb. Okay, so remember, storage is very key during this drier uh, season here in Barbados. We want you to store water to ensure that you have water whenever an outage is affecting your community. We do want to thank you for watching this episode of Water Wednesdays. To view this or a previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadoswaterauthority.com. Remember, you can go to our Facebook page for additional information as well, or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You can find us there.